Hello, and welcome to Stuff on Shelves. Have you ever taken a look through your old MP3 players, picked one up, given one a full charge, and then realized that it switches off within a few moments? Well, this happened to me. This is an Apple iPod Nano Generation 1. This iPod Nano was introduced in 2005. So over 15 years ago, this battery was made and it's seemingly since stopped working. The lithium ion battery, plagued by issues by overheating when this iPod was released, won't hold a charge. You can see here, trying to turn on the device brings up an a very faint Apple logo briefly and then disappears. Even when given a charge, the iPod struggles to charge. Shown here, the iPod Nano battery indicator seems to be taking a charge. I'll set the backlight to remain on. However, when I take this device off from charge, it will suddenly lose what small amount it had. We'll take a look at what to do next. As soon as I take this from charge and attempt to move the menu on the iPod screen, we're displayed a message indicating that the battery is low. Instantly shows me that there's an issue here. So what could that be? Taking a look at the iPod Nano from one end, you can see a small arc formed on the bottom. A bulging effect on any MP3 player is a sign that the battery has bulged over time. The lithium ion cell building up gases unable to release them as the battery life has decayed. I'll attempt to open up this iPod Nano and see if I can get to the battery compartment easily. After a few attempts with these simple tools, you can pry away the device from its case, being careful not to snap any of the delicate plastic clips. Here you can see the lithium ion cell. Which seems to be bulged in the middle, tapering to the edge. So if your MP3 player no longer works, this could be the culprit. You can see the small buzzer on the inside of the case, as this Nano did not have an internal speaker to play music through. To change the battery, I'll need to desolder the three wires and replace the cell with suitable replacement. I will give this a quick clean and I'll leave the iPod to one side whilst my battery arrives in the post. I'll follow up this video with a part two in which I will attempt to replace the battery. For now, a quick clean and I'll put this to one side. If you have a device with a bulge, it could be that it's in need of a replacement battery. I'll try and fix this one so that I can enjoy the iPod Nano first generation once again. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe if you want to, and I have a Patreon page available for those that wish to support me further in making more videos like this. Thanks for watching. 
and don't sit so close to the internet.